You're listening to Opinions and Beer. Stone Cold Steve Austin knows that the Opinions and Beer podcast exists in this world. My sex act, crazy bike. Oh. No, bro, I can't drop out of the scene for 14 months and show up as a co-host. I'm a fucking donkey show right in the middle of that. They always say to review IPAs last. The bitterness can destroy your palate for other beer. And opinions, opinions and beer. Two guys and another guy will never happen again. Uncultured swine. I'm not uncultured. This is opinions and beer. Oh, I thought that said raspberry. I was like, it's raspberry cake flavored? Oh my god. It says respect tradition. I'm your uh, most host. I am the host, Adam. Today, our other host, we also have Ed Ray1416. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry, I ju- it just told me that we're starting. King Violent. Again. I didn't know we were starting. How's it going? <laughs> and then we have new host, Dave Emelotson. Did you see my anal hole? What? <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, Sir, this is not this kind of, that kind of podcast. David's like, what the fuck did I get myself? I this PG-13. PG-13. The fuck? <laughs> no, oh my the fuck God. it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today we have a fun episode today. PG-13, this is, King Violent has to leave. This is day f- four? This is, <laughs> this is. so much, man. No. Yeah. This is Stout 4 in the 12 Stouts of Christmas. Today we've got a fun episode. We have the beer of the day, but we also have a bonus special porter beer that we are going to try as well, along with the beer of the day. This is a porter that's uh, quite famous in the world, and it's really hard to get in Texas. I had, I had to travel across state lines to get this beer. You had to smuggle it illegally. I had to smuggle this beer illegally. But yeah, first off, wallet. first things first, we have a fun episode today. we got a game. We got we got uh, two games. We got two games. Three games. Three games. <sighs> I thought those all those games were for different episodes. You're gonna just cram them all. Wait, in one? is this a game episode? Sure. I didn't even know there were games. Yes. <laughs> this is a game. <laughs> I forgot that this was a game episode because I wanted to drink this with the other episode. You know what? But I was it's fine. Say, it we was, have it's some left. It's your podcast, but it's our podcast, and I'm taking authority, America. and I'm saying yes. Because this is an American beer. I want it's gonna have an American America ep- beer. An America stuff. America. 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 Mar- There's a U in there. So respect it. And today's. And today's beer of the day is brought to you by Three Nations Brewing Company. This is a creme brulee, imperial milk stout. This milk stout is filled with notes of toffee, chocolate, caramel, vanilla, and roasted coffee. A beer devoted to our calling divine taste true to, to, true to tradition. Brewed in Carlton, Texas. We ready for the pop top? This beer is 8.3% in alcohol by volume. I like the colors. It's very... Let's pop that bad boy. Let's pop it out again. You sing many more of that song. And We're Dave- going to get sued. David's going to be our official uh, picture taker for oh, this episode. Oh, it looks good, man. It's nice, dark, and stouty. Now oh, the, yeah. Now, the last the last stout that David had, he threw a damn fit. <laughs> saying it was no good. and oh. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't like how that is. That, Here, look. This is undramatic. Take a picture of this. Should I get mine out the way? Or oh, whatever. Like this. Whatever you can do. Whatever you can do with that setting. And then I'll crop it out later. Any any undesired. I'll crop out any undesired look and make sure the beer is in there. All right. So first beer. Uh, this is the first beer, the creme brulee. Yeah. Um, let me smell it first. <laughs> oh, man. It smells stouty. Yeah. Uh, you can smell the coffee and the oh, chocolate yeah, the co- and the, the stout. The, the coffee's coming in. The coffee's coming in real... Th- Real well in that in that smell. Uh, so notes we got to look at for when we drink this is going to be it's too to- long of a list. To- I, I, my, my tongue is not that specific. toffee, toffee, chocolate, caramel, caramel vanilla, and coffee. Vanilla, coffee. Jesus. So basically, when you drink this, it's you got to find one of those. Find one of those. <laughs> if you can just find one of those, you can call yourself a beer snob. 
So F it, you know, we're smelling it. We ha we have a, a, a long out. we have a longish episode. Gentlemen, let's go ahead and out. let's try this beer. Oh, it is. It does smell good. It tastes like creme brulee. I don't know what the fuck creme brulee tastes like. Like a cake. Like a chocolate cake. It's a very mild stout. It's not. It's definitely. It's it's a lower in alcohol at eight percent uh, than the typical imperial stout that we have, uh, where those stouts are like twelve or whatever. But a lot of the flavors are very mild. The chocolate's mild. The coffee's not really. The coffee came. The coffee comes in more through the nose. I'm not really getting but Yeah. Uh, the coffee through. It's, I thought it'd be thicker just by the. It's that's what it is. It's thinner. Yeah. It's thinner than other than the other ones, huh? It's a little. It's a. Uh, it's just. It's. And as a result, the, the flavor's gone fast. Well, it's it's very similar to. Um, it's like, is it black? It's very similar to like those Irish stouts or like the England. The English import stouts. Yeah. So I mean, you know, there's there, there's different variants of stouts, where uh, some more and there's thinner. I mean, there's thinner stouts some stout out there. More than other stout when they stout. Well, stout. Yeah, but I mean, there's there's thin stouts out there. Big stout. Oh, stout. Uh, stout. And those are English stouts. Yeah, there's big stout, low stout. You know, America is actually the one that really made these thick, brutal stouts. You shut your quarter mouth. I'm just saying. That's, that's with America. That is beer blasphemy. We all know that. It all came from Ireland. All of it. Charlie fucking mops, bro. A long, no, <laughs> long time that's ago. Not, that's not this episode. Oh, damn, I really kind of was. <laughs> no, but, um, I'm out. Okay, uh, first off, let's let's go down the list. We're starting off with David Melanson. He hates beer. He hates stouts. I don't hate beer. Yeah, <laughs> he hates... <laughs> he He's has, not beer hater. We, we his, labeled you. His beer palette is of limited to the other people at this table. Therefore, his opinions, his initial opinions <laughs> on these beers are very new. What is, uh, is that right? Skeptic? Would that be a better way? Sure, beer skeptic? So he's going to be more skeptical than us because we've had bad beer. And we've, we've had... When you watch this episode underneath you, it's going to say, beer hater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just have one question before I do right. anything. Did you like the beer? This? Yes. I liked it. Then you already know my answer. You yeah. hate it. <laughs> But how? But okay, so so how, this this is how we're gonna have to do do it with you. No, but honestly, no, I don't hate it. It's actually, yeah. So compared, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Compared, compared to the last stout you had, I want you to, every time you rate you rate you rate a stout, I want you to rate it to that first stout you had. Does that make sense? Yeah. That way you have like a about the one that's this like yeah the, the, yeah the, the, that negative ten one. That's what I want you to base your ratings off of whenever you rate a stout now because. That way you have like this is like, this is my what I'm trying to beat. This is about a seven, honestly. That's a seven That's for you. Pretty. Yeah, I mean it's, it's it's smooth, it's light, it's not thick, and uh, you know he might not like the thicker beer. You know he might not. saying all the things bad. that I don't like. If it wasn't, but the I'm flavors. Not a coffee the, person. If it wasn't the coffee, I okay. actually would like it. Everything else about it is actually pretty good. Oh, shit, I can hardly taste the coffee. Yeah. I'm getting more of the um, I'm get I'm I'm chocolate overrides everything all the time. Nah, there's toffee in there. Yeah. It's like chocolate Notes, with the toffee top, out the taste toffee. of someone tasting. At the end, I'm getting like a very slight hint of vanilla. Toffee, vanilla, creme brulee. Creme, when's the last time you had a creme brulee? I've never had one. <laughs> it's like a fucking cheap ass. You rich fuck? You know what? You know no, what no. It sounds rich. Rich. Rich, it sounds fancy. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. are like those vanilla cakes that they serve at uh, Ming's Buffet. Oh, yeah? I thought, when you say creme brulee, <laughs> I'm like... That sounds like some. It's up there with caviar. No. Ed Ray, have you ever had a creme brulee? No. You never had creme brulee? Have you been to Ming's buffet? I probably had and not, didn't even know it. I was just like, ooh, pastry. That's what. I yeah. Feel like our job, we're paying this as well as you. That's what it is. No, yeah. creme brulee is like a cheap ass Dude, that vanilla can't cake. Ming's buffet. Three out of, three out of four <laughs> people say that they haven't had it. So. Yeah, y'all know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a damn. It's, they serve it at damn Asian buffets. <laughs> Asian buffets. Don't know shit about pastry. That's what he's saying. That's so on PC, bro. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, how should we do this episode? Um, you want to go ahead and rate this beer? Yeah, well, I'm Imperial. still like deeply. Oh, Devout. We, we didn't say the name yeah. of this beer. It's called Devout. Devout. Yeah, you just said the company. Which yeah, is, uh, Devout three, Imperial Milk three Stout. Three nations. Oh, so it's brewed with lactose. Oh. To keep that, so it's kind of very. That's why it's like very a milky. Milky light. That maybe that's why it's so lighter because they have how much like. You think that that would make it thicker? Milk. Breaking it with milk. 
But it has, it's creamier. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's a lot creamy. It's not creamy. It's thin. It's like water. That's creamy, huh? No, creamy is thick. You think? Thick cream, creaminess with that yeah, thickness. You can have like a you know flavor. Creamy is that freaking Bell Haven Scottish Ale that I'm always going on about. Oh. I want it again. <laughs> 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 but, um, should we? So, uh, so going down, do you give this a seven, you said? What do you give this? I give it a five. A five? It's too light. It's too, the, the taste has gone too quick. It's thin as water. I'm going to meet you guys in the middle and give it a six. So Five, six, and a seven. Five, six, and seven. Uh, before we continue on, we got Ed Ray here. And Ed Ray's going to do his little bit. We got Whining with Ed Ray. Ed Ray, now it's time for Whining Wine. with Ed Ray. Hey, you ruined where, that where, marketing, where? marketing. No, it's supposed to be. What? It Cause get it? Because like a play on word. Wah, whining. Wah, whining with... Whining, oh, whining. Wah, wah, wah. You should have just said it's time to whine. Because he complains, because he gets mad a lot. It's like you've never seen Because he always has something to complain. He complains about the socialists yeah, and communists. Whining with, oh my God, I get it. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ed Ray, take it away. <clears throat> okay, today's uh, whining with Ed Ray is Roscato, Rosso Dolce, Sweet Wait, 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 before sweet you start. Red. Time to whine would have also worked, because it rhymes... And you know when you whine, when you're whining, but Ed Ray's the only one. But Ed Ray's the only one whining. Yeah, or time to whine as with Ed Ray. Never mind. Okay. (laughs) Okay, let's start over again. Welcome to whining with Ed Ray. (laughs) Can I finish? Please, Please can I finish? (laughs) Okay, I'm finished. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so welcome to whining with Ed Ray, and uh, this uh, edition of whining with Ed Ray is Roscato. Rosso Dolce sweet uh, red wine, and this is from Italy, mind you, so let's go ahead and read this. Northern Italy provides a spectacular backdrop for Roscato, a violet-hued red with aromatic notes of cherry, blackberry, and red raspberry. A sweet, a touch of sweetness underlies the appeal of this charming wine. This fruit-forward red complements barbecue dishes, pasta and red and cream sauces, breaded cutlets, and spicier fare. Enjoy, chilled. Like I said, this is from Trent, Italy. I guess it's what it's called. And this has 7% alcohol by volume. So I'll go ahead and open this right now. I always thought that wine had more alcohol than beer. But no, we, we're, we're drinking a lot of beers with more alcohol. Yeah, more alcohol. That's the all beers we mean. drink are like juggernaut fucking beers, though, <laughs> man. It, 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 like alcoholics on there. They're like, oh, with their Bud Light and shit. <laughs> What's Bud Light like? Seven percent, eight percent? Bud Light is the same. Four. Four. Yeah, I thought it was like five. five. Oh, I thought four. No, I think it's like six. Let everybody do his thing. Okay, so from what I understand, it still smells like it was made fresh. So it's time for me to go ahead and sip this. Not bad for a wine straight from Italy. I mean, this is pretty good. I'd say this is the third sweetest wine I've had. I mean, it doesn't compare to Colorossi, but it's still good. This is authentic Italian wine. So I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Woo-hoo-hoo! 8 out of 10! Okay. Now it's time for today's episode. Oh, no, wait. I think we're Should already we do the next all beer? in today's episode, aren't we? No, I'm saying the episode after the beer. But actually, we have another beer. I forget. Yeah, but... By the way, so we had today's beer of the day. We're doing the 12 Stouts of Christmas. So technically, all all stouts are porters, but not all porters are stouts. And therefore, I understood that. And so because of that, because all stouts are porters, not all porters are stouts. I can smell that. We're we're not doing an episode just for this beer, but I wanted to have this on the twelve pods of Christmas. So here we are. What happens if I'm not twenty one? I, I don't know why they have that printed on there. Maybe because it says Hershey's or, chocolate on I mean, there. We're implicating ourselves in an, an underage drinker. So Anyways. Our podcast is <laughs> fucked. We're going to be looking at legal. I'm sorry. Today's <laughs> today's second beer of the day <clears throat> is brought to you by Toronto. Yinglings, one of the oldest, the oldest craft brewery in America. America's first craft brewery. Yinglings, Hershey's chocolate porter. This is a special release they do where they brew Yinglings on top of Hershey's chocolate, Hershey's chocolate to make this uh, porter of a beer. Uh, usually, it's only available in the East Coast, but um, thankfully, I bugged a freaking gas station in Louisiana so much to get it. 
Because they, they, well, they carry younglings already. Yeah. But they just never carry the Look special one really when they come down. Like younglings. Like younglings. Uh, younglings. Younglings. The ones that weren't slaughtered by Anakin and went on to start a brewery. Skipping over that you that's like literally staring at us. It's 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 blank you. It, it's a silent you. That's what I mean. The younglings are silent. Like blank. the ones killed by Anakin. What's the ABV Did on this? Y'all see an ABV? How is it like a? I think it's gonna be a lighter beer. It's like four percent, maybe five percent. Five. Is it five? No, that's see five it? cent. Uh, no, hold on, there's. A, let's see, that's a government it. warning, yeah. so you'd have to look at those. No, no, that's no, no, not saying it. Well, it, I will. I would like to point out that because it's plastered with Hershey's, Deal. and Hershey's is awesome. It and it tastes so good. They have to remind you. This is a twenty twenty one and over, man. This ain't fucking chocolate milk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm not seeing that. I'm just gonna let you know. I already don't like it. Why? Oh, Hershey's, wow. I, I Hershey's chocolate. I, I don't think. Yeah. You know what? I bet you. But this is kind of a mass. It's craft, but it's a mass produced craft. So I bet we barely taste any chocolate. That's gonna be the big thing yeah. right now. But it's a. It's a very. I mean, shit, this Yinglings. Very Yinglings is chocolate milk beer. This is like the most popular East it's Coast beer, beer children. of all time. Yinglings. Yinglings. Most popular brand. Coast? It's basically. It's like. You know how we have Shiner in Texas? Yeah. This is they have English, East Coast. So the entire East Shiner. Coast. Yeah. The entire coast doesn't. This is the Shiner brand of the East Coast. So Texas gets their own beer. And but the, the East the Coast, yeah. East Coast has to share a beer. Yeah, exactly. I like that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyways, um, go Texas. ahead. Texas. Oh, by the way, we're going to be using our brand new uh, bottle opener. This is going to be available in the giveaway, which we haven't mentioned yet, but we're going to have a giveaway later in the future. But now he has to mention it because I'm holding it. My bad. And so uh, <laughs> we're having a giveaway, and we're going to include one of these cool bottle openers. Yeah, let's see it in action. Is it right there on, yeah. on camera and everything? And you just do that. Does it work? Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Okay, well, that ain't as violent as I thought it'd be. It's just like, funny. When I, yeah, I know, but whenever you do it like this with it empty, wait, what I, when you just do like that, it hits at such a speed, I'm like, oh my god, you're gonna. It's still going far. Fuck. Yeah, it's still going far, but it didn't, I thought it'd jet out like it fucking puncture skin if you shot somebody. The way it, it just. Listen to that, listen. Oh, that sounds like it hurt. I don't know, I don't know what the percentage Here, is on this beer. Because, like, I didn't do it right and shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, I didn't fucking cock. Oh, I no, ruined yeah, everything. No. Yeah, you ruined it. Because uh, you got to cock it first. Hold uh, on, uh, we're going to pretend that I didn't do it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you didn't do it right, so I messed it up. All right, whatever. Gosh damn it. <laughs> oh, was it yeah? Eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's try Yingling's Yingling. Hershey Chocolate Porter. Hershey, Hershey, Hershey Chocolate <laughs> And already Keenan is drunk. Holy no, shit. That was just a, that was an so honest speech hey, impediment. So it's subtle, but I instantly get the Hershey's. You're right. I, it's it's subtle, but it's it's in it's in it like, like goddamn you who. <laughs> Cause it goes away pretty quick because it kind of tastes it's like a very um it's Beer, a very it's very, s- it's very beery l- porter. It's a very yeah. standard porter. Uh, like I said, but like, you know, Yinglings is a very traditional. They make their beer very traditional, so they're not crazy where they're adding you know like. What? It's better. Yeah, like you know, crazy stuff. It's very berry beer, but there's like a hint of that shot. Hershey. You, you you can almost taste. You still feel like you're drinking beer when you drink it. Like you taste the beer. Like in that, it's just straight fucking flavor. Like, like ba- you have a beer and so ba- a Hershey, half a Hershey so, opener. Yeah. So how th- how this beer tastes is basically. Those bubbles going down instead of like this beery taste, it's chocolate. It's Hershey's chocolate. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like to me. It's like beer, but that that aftertaste is all Hershey's. I don't like it, but it's still good. It is you don't like it? Uh, well, that was a paradox. I don't like it. But, but I bet you, it's, it, but it's you know what? Sure. I do not understand. But in, in the in the in the, the term, like it, it's still good. In the in the terms that this is like a sh- this is like you know East Coast Shiner. Like, I could tell that this is good to other people. You know this this would be a beer. That if you've seen at like a party or something, like if it was Shiner with Hershey's chocolate. It's very, it's just like, it's, it's like, like if, yeah, I was, okay, you beat me to it. I was thinking that before you said yeah. it, and then you said it, and I was like, you know, never no, fucking mind. <laughs> you know what, I didn't, I don't really like, uh, I don't like, I don't really like the regular Yinglings, because basically, I'm a junk logger, you know what yeah. I mean? And then, yeah. and then even their, um, even their mix, their, even their half and half beer that they make, um, I didn't give too high of a rating. I enjoyed it more, but I didn't give too high of a rating. This one is enjoyable. I could have... This is one of those beers where you could have like a six-pack 
Always. In your in your fridge, just as like, you know, as, as like a beer to drink in between the $20 beers. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's good. That's a good beer. It's I'm, good, I'm but it's also like, as far, like you said, it's so much, it's so close to an adjunct lager. It's almost like a... An adjunct lager with chocolate. It is. And as But such, it's a porter. It, it gets Which a means an L. And it, it gets... It also gets a five for me. A five, so yeah. pretty standard. Yeah, for almost like, it's like, I don't know. This one feels more mass produced than that one. Oh yeah, this one is a limited series. But they also, <laughs> this one's just more like, well, it's a stout and it's not a porter. This yeah, is a porter. But so, this one yeah. so flavorful, but it's like. They're both very thin, and this one's like so thin and so just a junk bloggery. I hope there's more thick ones later. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Bradford. <laughs> Anyways, no. I like them thick. <laughs> you motherfucker! You you said that up, didn't you? <laughs> no, no. All that porn stuff you said earlier. No, I you said earlier. Earlier. <laughs> saying porn stuff earlier. Anyways, <laughs> this one's just too like a junk bloggery, and it's like. They're both thin, but that's not why I'm giving this one a five. And I get didn't I give this one a five or a six? I a give five. it a six. It, five, no, six, seven. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. It's like this one was doing on purpose, but this one accidentally did. I think that's what I was trying to say. Okay. Maybe that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you give it a five again? Five. What you got? Yeah, I'm gonna go six. A six? Really want to go five, but honestly, besides it being Hershey. This really could have got higher for me. Oh. I, don't, I don't like chocolate, so... Oh, I understand. It, like, the flavor by itself, just reading it, puts me off. But when I drink it, smooth, so, you get this, this like, taste like... Uh, and, it, and it's not so overwhelming uh, with yeah. chocolate. So, like, uh. I, try my best to base, <laughs> I try my best to base my ratings on a couple of factors. Did it take... Is it drinkable? Yes. It's Does, very drinkable. Yeah, do you taste, taste what it says on the bottle? Do too you taste the Hershey's? Too high of a rating for me. That's why I gave. I taste I gave the Hershey's. But barely. Every sip. Every sip. I taste. It's in a junk it's, lager with tar- Hershey's. Like, wait, so but every sip. I'm giving it. It's like I, I might match I it with this one. When you drink something wait, Hershey's-y. No, you know what? I'm, I might give it a little higher because I don't know what creme brulee tastes like. So I might give Listen, this one a seven. It's like this. Like Hershey's syrup is made for such things. Like if you're making chocolate milk, right? Yes. And and you pour Hershey syrup in the chocolate milk and stir it up and it's fucking good. That's like and st- when because you didn't have milk, you got a glass of water and you squirted Hershey syrup in the glass of water and you stirred it up and you drank that. And threw a little beer in it. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, it's Hershey's water is what it is. And because the junk lagers are very watery to me. Yeah, yeah. The junk lagers are very watery to me. They're very blah. And it's like this is that blah with a little taste of chocolate on it. Like chocolate water. They're like, no, I don't have chocolate yeah. milk for you, but would you like some chocolate water? Sometimes so, sometimes I like thinner beers. Only only a sometimes. Not with chocolate in it. It, may, it makes me think this too much of chocolate water. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, uh, it's just me personally. My mind goes to chocolate water, and I go, I've got like two beers now. I'm yeah. drink oh, stuff. chocolate water. <laughs> I'm not drinking all this. Can, but I will drink all this. Okay. Oh, really? I'm not drinking all of either. I, yeah, I might give it a seven. Mix it. No. No, Keenan. Oh. No. No? No, you don't do that. That's a chocolate terrible. creme brulee. That's, that's terrible. That's like a headache in a... That's I, terrible. A headache in a, in a glass. Some beers are made to be mixed. Oh, weird. Yeah, like flat tire. and <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah. yeah. No, the, 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 uh, we had a beer the other day. It was a pumpkin... Pumptress. It was a pumpkin beer and then a stout. And we drank one, drank the other one. And then we mixed them because they said on the thing to mix them. There's an instructions, half and half. A lot of breweries do that. They they mix beers together and sell it like that. Okay. You know what I like to mix? When you when you got you in a junk lager, you just throw in any one of them from Bud Light to fucking Bush, whatever. Then all the ones, all the water flavored fucking beer that's super cheap. Throw yourself a monster in there, and then uh, see what that see what that does. Okay. So, let me <coughs> Life of energetic running to the bathroom. <coughs> David. I never really thought about Ed that. Ray. <laughs> I mean, uh, that because beer that happens with beer all, 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 already. So I guess like the monster mind okay. could be doing a little more. Yeah. But, uh, so I gave it a already se- doing it. Yeah. So I so That's I like the energetic. Yeah, yeah. So energetic. Like so you're seven seven five. 
Yeah. Okay, no, seven. Wait, on, on this? Yeah. No, I, I gave it a six. Oh, so I said I would have six, it a seven. seven. So there we go. That's weird. So, so we kind of it was still five six. It was, a, it was just a different way, huh? Because I was yeah. middle last time. Now I'm high, and he's middle, mm-hmm. and you're fr- low. I, I want I want to announce on our beer podcast, and hopefully it gets to the right ears, that Bud Light and Monster should team up and just make a beer. That would be a good idea. Yeah, well, no, we can't because some college students drank too many no, sparks, it, it would and now you can't have energy beer. That, that sounds like bad business for my company. Yeah. <laughs> I just want energy beer back, Dan. <laughs> that sounds like very bad business for my company. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Very bad. Yeah. But, uh, I see hours any... being cut. Hours being cut. Right, yeah. Oh, my God. Anyways, Ed Ray, are you ready for this game? I want Let's to, do it. I want to see you kick it up a notch for these next few episodes. Ready? What's the game? All right. What's so, the game? Here you go. Here we got two. Okay, we got two games. One. What's the game? Y'all will be getting points Half. after off of these games. Two games. Half. Y'all be getting points if y'all win or whatever. Whoever has the most points after two games wins. What do we win? What's the game? All right. One of them is categories, and the other one is. Where is it trending? Wait, what do we win? What is the grand prize? It's Denmark win every time. Whatever win, it is, Denmark. You win claps. You win uh, support saying, good job. You did a really good job today. Pat on the back. You win a... a, a it's a, something your job doesn't you give you. <laughs> you win something your job doesn't give you. A congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh, no. uh, thank you. It's the you subject for me. You get that when they want something. <laughs> yeah. You're doing really good. Can yeah, you? That's all you get for your hard work. Can you Can have a raise? No, hey, but we'll give you a pallet um, on the back. Are, are, are you, <laughs> are you really sure you're working that dude. pallet on top? Dude, oh, what happened with that? Hey, you, I, I seen that guy. He was like looking at this pallet. Is he working that pallet? And then he called you up. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? He thinks he's not working this pallet on Whenever the Whenever they have the employee of the month, that's so that they want to make you work harder without giving you more money. Oh, yeah. They, they, they want you to story. strive to be employee of the month. So you strive to work hard as if they just gave you a raise, but all they give you is a picture on a plaque. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you a story about how your manager, I won't say any names, came uh, to my Walmart up the street, a little okay. corner, and came charge me up about something that your fellow employee said. Huh? Exactly. I don't want to give out names. Wait, charge you up? Yes. What, what do you mean? She came to my Walmart looking for me. And said what? said what said without giving out names. Oh. Now I'm curious. Yeah, so... Uh, you remember before Thanksgiving when my company got a display? Yeah. And yours didn't. Oh, at H-E-B? Yes. Well, you know, she came to that Walmart, and I told you about that, how she came there very furious with, I'm guessing that was your sales manager or district manager? It was somebody he wouldn't know I normally see. Okay. She threw a hell, she threw fit, she, a fucking fit at that damn store for like an hour and a half. Yes. That's how I got like that two, three pallet display up front. Right now we do? No, for Thanksgiving. I didn't see it. Yeah, you, you had it, trust me. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> you had it. You got a hot shot. Kevin got a hot shot that day. Oh, did he? For like four extra pallets. Because they were pissed that they didn't get nothing? Yeah. So I passed along to another one of your coworkers, and he went to go tell Ray, well, your manager, what I said, and she came charge me up about it. I was like... Wait, she came to you? Yeah, she quit looking for me at Walmart. And what'd she say? She was like, hey, so I heard you so I'm like she was like, Hey, I heard you say something about me. I was like, What did I say? Cause I, I, I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> so I, I need to Which know, one of the times dude, I was talking shit is this? Ray gets yeah. mad. You see she gets mad. She'll like you talking about me? What are you saying? What's people saying about me? she gets really fucking yeah. paranoid, dude. Well, luckily I only go to that that store once every fucking blue moon. Okay. So I was like, you know, I don't never go with there. I'm always out of town. So when you ever see me, they're just like, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm going to talk to him. But it's the guy that works at Kroger. I I, I know where he stays. And I, I, my cousin just happened to stay by him. I'm going to have to go pay him a visit. Oh, and this store. wait, what's he look like? Um, did, did I see him the other day? He works at the Kroger 328. Did I see him the other day? I don't know. He works at Kroger. I don't know who he's seen. 328? <laughs> yeah. On the... Beard, glasses. 328. That's a uh, Kroger on Dallin. 325. Then. One of them are one of them are bad. Well, not bad, but one of oh, them are fucking dicks. This is where I can't. I'm, I'm kind of. This is this is just a fun episode, Keenan. And we're just talking. To, you know, everyone's just talking. The this is, 
<laughs> totally involved in this conversation. No, I understand. But <laughs> hey, yeah. everyone's got. Hey, so far everyone. Edry's got a spot. You've got a spot. Everyone's speaking. I have a fucking spot. No, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> moving on to the game. We got a game to play. You ready, everybody? I guess. What are All we right. Categories, and then what's the other one? First off is categories, and then we're doing what's trending. Where, where is it trending? All right, categories. All right, categories. Here we go. I'm gonna lose. So, this I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say a name, mm-hmm. and it's either a rock band, a racehorse, or a porn film. Oh, this is gonna be easy. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm gonna say what it I is. I know a lot about rock racing and porn. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say one more than the other. <laughs> I'm gonna say the name. And I'm gonna go through, ask you what you think it is, and if you get it right, you get a point. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's the first, that's what we're doing first. Rock band, racehorse, or porn film. Wait, are these actual existing porn films or yes. titles that you would think would be a porn film? I had to do some googling to find some tricky Wait. titles. Oh man, no. <laughs> you just had to ask. Can me. you please disclose the site where you got it from? Porn. Uh, PornDVD.com. Yeah. Oh, crap. Isn't that? No. God, what the hell? No. <laughs> I had to find some weird ones. I see. Okay. Some weird. <laughs> Daddy's little helper. <laughs> <laughs> Part one. Okay, question one. Okay, name one. Santa's little. Is this a is this a band, a racehorse, or porn film? The secrets out. Porn film. All right, wait, wait. Starting down, David. The secrets out. Is it a porn film, a band, or a racehorse? Band. Keenan. Probably a band. Ed Ray. Band. Secrets Out is... Sounds a lot like a porn film, though. A racehorse. Oh. Really? Who the hell would do that? Oh, let me explain. I can, I can, I understand. I can answer that question. <laughs> Unless you actually know. No, answer it. Answer it. Okay. When, and, and the racehorse industry, and then just the horse industry in general, every single horse's name has to be registered. Like, there's this fucking book of names. I'm sure they're not one book. Yeah. But, you know, like, <clears throat> you cannot have the name of anyone else's horse on the fucking, I wouldn't say the planet, probably just in America, you know? Like, you all have to have, there can't be two of one fucking names in the reg- in registered. Uh, there's a different registry for each breed of horse, you know? You can't have the same, and if you have a registered quarter horse, you can't have the same name as any other registered quarter horse, and so on, and thoroughbreds, and it's all the same. So they come up with the craziest fucking names, like the Secrets Out, just because there's no other The Secrets Out out there, and once they name their horse The Secrets Out, no one else can name their horse The Secrets Out. But I feel like we all would be that would have been a decent band name. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds very, uh, that sounds pop punky. It does, it does. Yeah, The Secrets Out. Okay. Up there with Say Anything. No. Next up, is this a rock band, a racehorse, or see the gimmick of the game, or a porn film? Because they all, yeah, could be either. rock band, racehorse, or porn film. Swiss skydiver, David. That's Swiss it. skydiver, rock I'm band, racehorse, or porn film. Porn. No, I mean like that. That doesn't have too much of a like. Uh, like yeah, even like, when they have a, try to do a play on words, they try to like let you know. What the fuck you're in for with the porn film that you just purchased? All right, Swiss, Swiss skydiver. And how much skydiving porn is there really? Jesus Christ! It'd probably just be labeled skydiver porn. We only have one. There's people fucking while they skydive. I'm gonna go with porn. I'm gonna go with rock band. Ed Ray. Racehorse. Skydive fucking volume two. You know that's all you need. The correct answer was. Racehorse, Swiss skydiver no is a racehorse. Race at all. <laughs> in fact, in fact, like, dude, like, in a, fact, Swiss my family is like involved in that. In, industry, well, yeah. You know, well, then you should know that the Swiss skydiver came in for, came in fourth place this last weekend in the Kentucky Derby. Calm down, secretary. Or one of the derbies. Like, yeah, if it's not secretariat, you know, no one gives a shit. Fucking embarrassing. Next up, Ed Ray, Ed Ray has one point. Everyone else is zero. <laughs> I'm waiting for that Favorite moment. Season. I'll be honest. I'm waiting for that moment where he's like, he just shouts out a name and we're all, right. all like, oh, I wonder who it could be. But I'm like, I fucking downloaded that porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Is this a rock band, racehorse, or porn film? 
Animals as leaders. Animals as leaders. Rock band, racehorse, or porn film. I keep. Oh, I damn. hate choosing the same thing over and over. Uh, David. But damn. Keenan. They, they all sound like bands so far, and I keep getting wrong. But like, Is God this damn a porn it, that's video. A... I quit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, there. Uh, rule sixty-seven. There's a porn for everything. <laughs> Animals as leaders. That is a band name, like Ed Ray. Band. The correct answer is. Band! Animals yeah. as Leaders is a band. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Like, dude, like, we can all sigh that there's not a porn out there called Animals as Leaders. <laughs> <laughs> gotta use my goofy when we're done. <laughs> Again, there's porn for everything. Okay. Uh, oh, God. What did I just do? Okay. Next up. <sighs> is this a rock band, a racehorse, or a porn film. Frank's gun is loaded. Frank's gun is loaded. <laughs> you know, so yeah, rock man, race horse, in your window right there. Porn it's like fucking porn film, and that's how you know it's not. You know? <laughs> David. I'm a bike porn. <laughs> Keenan. Race horse. Ed Ray. Band. The correct answer is. Racehorse that came in 10th place in the last <laughs> derbies. <laughs> Keenan gets a point. <laughs> Yay. All right. Is there See, that, anyone that, on that's going to... Like, I had the bite on that one. Yeah, like... <laughs> that was like a perfect okay, bite. I am, I'm, like, disappointed in the lack of porn in your list, sir. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Is there any porn? <laughs> like, well, I, he, knows, know. he, he knows that, like, the, the second he shoots a porn out, I'll be like, oh, fucking... That's <laughs> <laughs> Is this... A rock band, a racehorse, this or, one's the porn. or a porn film. Jungle Prince. Oh. Jungle Prince. Rock band, racehorse, or porn film. David. I swear to God, this is porn, but band. <laughs> I'm going to go with porn because I feel like his algorithm is like, fine, I'll throw a porn in there just to, you know, you got to have porn as one of them. Ed Ray. Band. The correct answer was... Racehorse. Nobody gets oh. that one. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, it's, it's like he, he's like this is called Are rock. You? This is called rock band racehorse porn. <laughs> he's so conservative. There's no porn in the list. It seems like there's more racehorse than me. He, he, he did that that research, which made him feel bad for one porn just to justify. Rock band. <laughs> yeah. Is this a rock band or a racehorse? Now you got me like this one's the porn. Our this porn. one's the porn. Or a porn film. I'm telling you now, it's just a porn for the rest of the game. <laughs> External explosion. Oh my god! <laughs> See, you, you, yeah, God, Four. you can't even be low key. Oh, no, watch that's the horse. <laughs> external actually, explosion. Actually, no, I I, I changed the band. External, <laughs> David, no, thrash. I get it. Keenan, no, dude, fucking porn. I mean, <laughs> external explosions, volume two, Ed volume Ray. three. All right, external explosion. Racehorse. The correct answer is porn film. Yeah. Porn film. External explosion. Keenan gets a point. I really feel like that could have been a nice thing. Yeah, but you knew it was a porn. I knew. But, <laughs> but you're like, I want there to be a band <clears throat> called External Explosion. Okay. And if it makes you feel any better, I'm sure Cannibal Corpse has a song title. <laughs> is this <laughs> is this a rock band, a racehorse, or porn film? Oozing wound. Oh my god, it's so scary. That, that, that's a I porn really film. Hope it's a band. Oozing wound. No, he, he said he did some freaky research. He got up in that torture porn. Uh, uh, David, what do you think? How many questions are we getting asked? It's a bunch. It's a bunch. Oozing wound. I'm going to go band. I'm okay. sorry. There's just some. I know there's some sick porn out there. I'm going to go with porn. Did you, did you, did you touch Race the horse. EMS area? Oh, dude. The correct answer is. Band! Oozing Ooh. Wound is a newer band. They're a newer metal they're, band. They're East Coast Hardcore. <laughs> Oozing beat, Wound. Beat down! David <laughs> gets a point. Beat down! It just, just sounds a little bit more on the STD side for it to be a porn. <laughs> I just, there's freaky okay. shit out there, man. Is this a rock band, a racehorse, or a porn film? Dark Garden. Huh. Dark Garden. Guard. That's a horse. Boring. Horse. <laughs> David. Horse. Horse. Keenan. Uh, I'm gonna go with band. 
Ed Ray. Band. So bands and horror. Oh, dude, that's like emo. As the correct answer is. Porn film, Dark Garden. Oh, the was porn say, film. It's like that's just like some of them porns out there. They they want to be like <laughs> this is boring ass title. I would never <laughs> click on that. Is this a next up? No, no point. Is this a rock band, a racehorse, or a porn film? Murder Mystery Weekend. Murder Mystery Weekend. Rock band, racehorse, or porn film? Horse. That sounds like uh, David. Horse. Keenan. That's, that's a little bit too long. To yeah, Keenan. Uh, well, maybe a porn. T- and also, again, that could get in some weird ass porn. But uh, it is so trendy for him to be like, my band title is a full fucking sentence with the noun and an action. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Murder Mystery Weekend is totally a band title. Uh, Ed Ray. Band. The correct I'm answer bored. is. Porn! Porn! That was the weird Mur- fucking... The torture porn that I told you not to get into. <laughs> Murder, <laughs> Murder Mystery Weekend was a porn. It, it's a parody. Wow. It's a porn right. parody, I guess. Is it a rock band, a it's racehorse, a or a porn film? I'm so... Steel Panther. Steel oh. Panther. Rock fair. band, racehorse, or porn film. Famous one. But also... David. Porn. Yeah, porn. Because even though there actually is a Steel Panther... The uh, Edward. Very ashamed of myself. Racehorse. What's I? I'm ashamed of myself that I know that that's important with Lexington Steel, but never mind. No. <laughs> well, for this game, it is a band. Steel Panther what? is a metal band. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're fucking playing with work because you know that was such an obvious answer that I thought for sure it was going to be a porn. But it's a band. Yeah, everyone knows it's a band. That's why we all chose everything besides a band. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is this a rock band, a racehorse, or a porn film? And no one listens to Steel Panther. That's also like, why would you choose that? Chances Wish. And no one at least listens to the other rock band. Is this a rock band, band, racehorse, or porn film? Chances Wish. Horse. David. Horse. What is it? Chances Wish. Horse. Ed Ray. Band. It's a horse. 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 <laughs> it's horse. A horse. What yeah. about to like two and a half points? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's you have three points. Okay. Um. Next up, rock band, racehorse, or porn film? Touch of Dandy. Touch of Dandy. David. I'm gonna go porn. Keenan. Probably is porn. Like one of those fucking weird murder fucking. No, not like the Dark Desires. Racehorse. Or dark fucking. Uh, the correct answer garden. is. Racehorse! Touch of Dandy is a racehorse. Edward gets a point. That really wasn't going to be my... Porn wasn't going to be my answer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you said yeah, porn. Like, but when you're like, all right, we're moving on, I was like, it could be, though. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Wrong with porn it's, as your answer. It's because but I like, know one of the porn stars there named Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well... <laughs> Daisy Marie. Uh, is it? <laughs> I think there's like three Daisies. Yeah. yeah Rock, <laughs> there's 14. Actually. Rock band, racehorse, or porn film? I was going to say horse, goddammit. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was like, uh, sounds like a porn, but dot, 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 my sins get... All right, he says porn. <laughs> Wicked Weapons. Uh, Wicked Weapons. Yeah. Rock band, race horse, porn film. David. Band. Porn. Ed Ray. Race horse. The correct answer is... Porn. Yeah. Wicked Weapons is... by Wicked Pictures. Porn. Uh, you didn't do that much like, research. I, I feel like you need to put the references by it so we at least get a hint. <laughs> yeah, the one with okay. Lisa Ann. I've seen that one. No. Is this a rock band, a racehorse, or a porn film? Dead Heat. David. Oh, that's screaming porn, but I'm going to go band. Yeah, I'm going to go band, too. <laughs> it screams Ray. porn too much. Well, I hate the big mm. porn titles like band. Dark Garden and Dead Heat. Everyone said band. The correct answer is... Band! Everyone gets Yeah, it just like, screamed porn too much. Yeah, yeah. Well, but again, the subtle title of porn. Woo! Like, I, you know. Just so everyone knows, Keenan is in the lead. David and Ed Ray are tied. We're moving on to the next game. It's because if there's two things, three things I know, it's rock, horses, and porn. All right. <laughs> moving on. Where was it trained? This, this is a hard game. Oh, the game's over? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you uh, have. I am. I am thoroughly so, disappointed with your lack of obvious part. This in there. next game is going to be. Is, is kind of. It's very hard. You have a five out of fifty chance of getting the answer right. Okay. Oh wow. Five out of fifty chance of getting the answer right for this next game. 
Okay. It's a very harder game, but it's like a bonus round. Consider it a bonus round. Right now, Keenan's in the lead, so David oh, Ed Ray. Oh, it's a different game, but it's part of the same yeah. scoring and yeah. all that. So, David Ed Ray, you guys got to get some of these right. You have 5 out of 50 chance, but Keenan's in the lead, so he could actually, you know, if he gets them right, then, he, you know, y'all are basically fighting for that chance to win. This is Where Was It Trending? So, I'm going to tell you a, a name. I'm going to I'm gonna say a word, whether it's a an item. I'm going to say something. And you gotta tell me where you think it was trending in the Google Trends. Like who, what state of the 50 states yeah. do you think Googled it the most? If it's in the top five most Googled spots, you get a point. Understand? Mm -hmm. Understand, Dave? This will be interesting. So you're gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna say a word, you gotta tell me what state you think is Googling this the most. If it's in the top five. Dude, I, ain't, I can't even name all 50 states and shit. You can't. <laughs> you need a map. <laughs> I mean, I can, but like, if you tell me to like okay. list them all now, so, I get nervous. No. So this is the <laughs> this is the twelve styles of Christmas. So some of this is Christmassy. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do some Christmassy stuff, some random stuff, and some of them are easy. Some of them are gonna be basically like you're gonna get a point. So we're we'll start off with something um something maybe a little easier that maybe you guys can get. Let's do um to get so you know what we're doing. Word number one. Where was it trending? Crawfish. Louisiana. Louisiana. Mississippi. <gasps> if it's in the top five, you get a point. We all three get a point. All three, you get a point. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be Louisiana, Mississippi, <laughs> or Florida. One of the. Th so what was number one? Number Te one. Texas. Number one was Louisiana. And number two is Texas. No, number two is Mississippi. Number two is number three is Texas. Three is Texas. Uh, I was about to say four. Four is Nevada. Nevada. And five is Arkansas. Five is Ar Arkansas makes a little sense. Yeah, Te Texas. Nevada was a weird one. Shit. So, where was it trending? Crawfish, you all got... Nevada's like, hey, I wonder what's going on elsewhere. I feel like it should get extra points if you get the number one. You yeah. think so? Or at least, uh, no, I'm just saying, it's too late now. It's okay. too late now, yeah. Next time. <laughs> this is our first time in, This is our first time doing this game. All right. Where was it trending? Is it brand new? Word two. Okay, word two. Christmas. Christmas. Oh, fuck, dude, that's not fucking fair. Top. It's December, and, uh, and so and this is the most trending within the last this year in the year 2020. Wh who do you I think Google? Say that too. New York who State. Google Christmas the most? New York State, yeah. Uh, Ed Ray, California. <sighs> Nobody gets a point. The top five were West Virginia, Idaho, Tennessee, and Iowa, Pennsylvania, Indiana, and New Hampshire. Pennsylvania is close. <laughs> uh, next up, that goes back to I know all fifty states, but it's, it's, it's a harder one. Matter. This is more of like a, this is more of like an interesting game where it's kind of it, like, like a tiebreaker if we need it. So if y'all want to talk, like when I say and this stuff, no, it's porn. This, so is, well. this, this is more of a bonus game to where if y'all want to talk about like why is it trending there, you know, stuff like that. If you want to bring it up, we can talk about. No it. one's questioning why Christmas is trending anywhere, is Adam. No, but top it's five, December, top five. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Santa. Where is Santa trending? <laughs> David. West Virginia? Let's draw a dart <laughs> at the map. No, top five. In 2020. Right. Top five Googling Santa. Uh, they, have, they have to Google it. They have, yeah, to, they Google have to Google Santa. Santa. Top five states to Google Santa uh, this year Florida. Ed Ray. Minnesota. What'd you say? West Virginia. No one gets that. <laughs> no one gets the point. I uh, just thought they said they were five, Christmas. Number one is New Mexico. Number two, California. I knew it was somewhere as hot. Like, we number, don't know about that cold shit. Number three, Nevada. Number four, Arizona. Number five, Colorado. Wow. Googling Santa. Next up. Santa porn. Santa porn. Nevada. Texas. Who's no. Googling? So Nevada. David. Nevada. Texas. Ed Florida. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> gets a point. No one gets a point. <laughs> what? Santa porn, number one. New Mexico. Mexico. You should have listened. <laughs> New Mexico. Number, they're, they're, they're fucking, they're Googling everything. <laughs> number one, New Mexico. Number two, California. 
Number three, Maine. Number four, Hawaii. Number five, Alabama. Oh, dude, I jokingly <laughs> said Alabama, and it was on there. Santa porn. Santa stepfather porn. Okay. <laughs> next, <laughs> no one gets a point. Uh, next up, elves. Who's Googling elves? California. California. Kansas. <laughs> no one gets a, a point. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Every list California was on. When I say California... <laughs> Yeah, California top five. Needs to be on every top list. five were Idaho is number Luminati's one. Luminati's fucking stupid. Idaho elves. Idaho, Utah, Maine, North Dakota, Oregon. It's all the places that don't have Christmas. No. <laughs> <laughs> elves, except for North Dakota and Oregon. They're like it's Christmas twenty four seven here, bro. It's all fucking right. cold. Let's throw you guys off. Elf porn. Who's no. googling? <laughs> <laughs> what? No you got more porn in this than the porn game. The game with exactly. porn in it. Like exactly. Ah. And Elf. It was like, there's a very porn happy country, Elf. man. Elf. See what kind of degenerates I have to deal with? Yeah. Elf porn. David. New Mexico. Uh, Keenan. New Mexico. I'm That's seeing right. a trend here. Ohio. I'd be proud if it's Texas, though. <laughs> no one gets a point again. Fuck, I swear it's Alabama. <laughs> Number one. Every time it's porn, it's Number Alabama. one for elf porn, Oklahoma. Oh, my God. I can deal with that. Number two, Arkansas. That's understandable. Number three, Washington. Really? Number four, Alabama. Ah, number, on every part of Number this. five, Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Disappointed in Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking elf porn, man. They, Wisconsin needs to step it up. Yeah, they need be better. <laughs> yeah. Um... No, like, you know. Who's That's go- a niche <laughs> right there. No one, not everyone. Really elf porn. Elf porn Why do you think Oklahoma is Googling elf porn so much? Uh, because, uh. <laughs> because the Native Americans are degenerates. Because they're Okies <laughs> and the Stokey. He said the Native Americans are degenerates. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe there's a high volume of short people. Uh. Okay, who's Googling gremlins? Gremlins. Oh man, that's everybody. It's a it's a Christmas movie. Uh, California. In 2020, though, this is from the start of 2020. How oh, I now. know? Let's just go California because I really want to say. All right, Keenan. California. They Google everything. I really want to say Alabama. North Carolina. He's gonna say Alabama. <sighs> Top five were Alaska, Nebraska, Rhode Island, Wisconsin, and Ohio. I'm tired of this game. <laughs> we're almost done. We're almost done. Fucking. Uh, I do have. It's a qu- I think we only got one right. Yeah. All right. Wow. It's a multiple choice, but there's 55 choices. So. 50. Or 50. God 50 damn five. it. Okay. Well, I was thinking all the territories we took over. So, uh, let's get... Uh, let's, Guam is a state, bro. Let's get away from Christmas stuff. Puerto Rico. Wait, he didn't say let's get away from porn. Where is it trending? Anime. Anime. Where is it trending? Who's Japan. Who's in the in in tech in in in, in Japan, USA Texas. in USA where was it trending? Ed Ray, New York, Texas. It has to be California. I don't fucking know. Okay. Comic Con. Oh yeah. Well, there's Comic Cons in every state. So right? repeat. Re- repeat your answers again, Ed Ray. New, New Texas. York, Texas, California. Top five Googles for anime. Number one, Hawaii. Number two, Nevada. Who's out there? I said, I just said. Number yeah, Nevada. Everything's Nevada or New Mexico. Number, <laughs> I swear I just said I should. They're <laughs> bored out there. All they got to do is the Google shit. <laughs> Number three, Alaska. Uh huh. Number four, California. Number five, the Texas. The one time we did. Oh, I said five. I said Texas. Yeah. yeah. I said, and, and I was gonna say, but even before I got the point, I was gonna say, <laughs> just like out of rule of thumb, I was gonna go with porn last time. Rule of thumb, I'm going with Texas. So you guys got anime. Yeah, I, I was thinking about them, but I'm just okay. going with Texas. Next up, this is an unwinnable game. Too, where, so. <laughs> where Texas. was, where was Fucking it? Texas, Google some shit, bro. Where was it trending? Texas. Taco. Oh, fucking Texas. Taco. Fucking Texas. Ed Ray. Florida. Texas. Nevada. Texas. Top five to Google Taco. Or New Mexico. Number one. Just Oklahoma. Number two. Alabama. Kansas. Oh, what did I said. Number so three. Racist. Missouri. Number four. Nebraska. Number five. Number five South Texas. Dakota. 
See? Well, that's only because no one needs to Google a fucking taco in Texas. <laughs> exactly. We know how to make it. Exactly. You got to think better when these no, games. No, I told you. You got to think. Not, who's not, choosing who, Texas for Who needs one. to Google this stuff? That's what you got to think about when you do that. Yeah, 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 a little bit. But uh, <laughs> I'm tired of this game. And We're almost done. At a Texas Pride, I'm just going with Texas. We're almost done. Where Texas. was it trending? Nickelback. Texas. <laughs> Nickelback. Ed you know Ray. Some te- Nickelback. Uh, Tennessee. Keenan. They said that a hero could save <laughs> us. I'm not going to stay here. In Texas. David. Oh, you know the Carolina. Song. Yeah, North, North, North Carolina. Alabama. Yeah, North Carolina. Top five to Google <laughs> Nickelback. Number one, North Dakota. Number two, Texas. Montana. Number three, Maine. Number four, Alaska. Number five, Wyoming. I told you it wasn't going to be Texas. We know too much about it. Why would yeah. they Google it? Because, like, you know, nope. sometimes when I... I don't know. Nope. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're not looking at YouTube entries here. <laughs> you know? Where was it trending? Unicorn. <laughs> Unicorn. Who's go- California. <laughs> Who's Googling unicorns? I know. Uh, uh, Roll of thumb, I was going to choose Texas, but you say unicorn. I think California. Uh, uh, Ed Ray. Wisconsin. Nevada. Nevada. California. California. Top five. Number one, Minnesota. Number two, Utah. Number three, Idaho. Number four, Washington. Number five, Louisiana. 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 <laughs> I feel like I gotta have a discussion with them. <laughs> Why they, they, they just they wanted to throw a unicorn in their gumbo. <laughs> they didn't know. Well, honestly, they get hit by enough hurricanes. They need some kind of miracle. Yeah, they need yeah. a unicorn. They, they need some happiness in their life, man. Uh, <laughs> where was it trending? Stout. Stout. Damn. I wish we had just like a four. T- <laughs> oh, should, should I come up? With, should I come up with like a, a like the four top oh, most should, options? Should, yeah, uh, with only one of them oh. being right. Okay, next time we do this game. Yeah, you're making us choose between fifty five. I have to actually think of fifty five. Yeah, How's this? Yeah. So right. next time, fifty choices. All right. So here, I gotta like think of such a random. Right. How's this? How's this? We have one, two, three. We have five left to go. Okay. Right. You, you, so you for name these, the, wait, 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 all five. Right. So whoever Is guesses, who chooses number one. Yes. So for the for this last five versions, I'm going to list who googled we're it learning. the top five. This is the first time we're doing this game, so you know we're learning as well. I'm just ashamed that it's twice now. I assumed that there were 55 states. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna list where it was trending, and you guys got to guess which one was number one. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Or at least could have gave us less options than you. I know. Fucking fish. This is this yeah. is less. I'm gonna give you five options. The ultimate multiple choice. Okay. And then you're not even talking about British Columbia and fucking uh, Puerto Rico and Stout. Tom. Stout. <laughs> Who's googling this the most? What if he names out of these five he options, just names off one, two, three, and four, five, and the list. Are no. <laughs> Go ten. Answer A every time. Who's googling it the most? Colorado, Iowa, Indiana, Minnesota, or Wisconsin? Wisconsin. I say Colorado because I was going Denver anyway. Edray. Minnesota. The correct answer is Wisconsin. Wisconsin number one, Minnesota number two, Colorado, Iowa, then Indiana. Kenny gets a point. I feel like we were all winners there. Yeah. Because <laughs> we changed the game. <laughs> and got five fucking answer choices where, instead of 50. Where was it trending? Tree hugger. Tree Hugger. Texas. <laughs> okay. Uh, Iowa. How do I kill Tree Hugger? Indiana. Minnesota. Oregon. Or Wisconsin. Oregon. Indiana. Oregon. Iowa. Correct answer was Minnesota. No one gets a point. Mm. Minnesota is Googling tre- uh, that followed by Oregon, Iowa, There's so Indiana. Many trees to hug Wisconsin. in Oregon. <laughs> There might be, yeah, gee, all the tree huggers live there, I guess. That's funny. Yeah, I was totally, like, you know, I don't like, well, they got a lot of trees, I think I'll go with them. Alright, where was it trending? Where to get weed? The term, who Google? which state Googled where to get weed the most? Texas. Was it? <laughs> most of those Googles were by me. <laughs> was it Virginia? Oklahoma? Nevada? Indiana or Missouri? Missouri. Nevada. Oklahoma. The correct answer is 
Oklahoma! Ed Ray gets a point! Oh, that's because they just been legal to, this year. Where, so. to, where to get weed? Number one, Oklahoma. Number two, Nevada. Number ah. three, Missouri. Number four, Virginia. Number five, Indiana. I was about to be like, hey, my answer was on the list. And it's like, oh wait, our choices are the list. Yeah, we changed <laughs> it. <laughs> where was it trending? We have two questions left. Where was it trending? Semen Demon. Semen Demon. <laughs> Where was it trending? Who Googled Semen Demon? Was it? Can we get a definition? Semen Demon. Like, I, I just don't, like, what? A chick that... They typed really in Semen <laughs> Demon in Google. This state typed in Semen <laughs> Demon yeah. the most. Okay. Was it Michigan, Illinois, Google Minnesota, Georgia, Georgia, or Florida? It's oh, Illinois. Florida. What did you say? Illinois. Illinois. Florida, like Georgia. That. Correct answer was Minnesota was number one. Minnesota. There, there are some people with a fetish out there. <laughs> Minnesota number one, Georgia number two, Michigan number three, Illinois number four, and Florida number five. Top five to Google semen demon. Yeah. This one is a throwback to Ed Ray and Ed Ray's uh, famous episode. It's getting a lot of downloads right now. Uh, Permaculture Garden. Who's Googling? <laughs> Permaculture, New Jersey Garden, is Garden it, State. Is it New York, California, Oregon, Washington, or South Carolina? California, Washington, Washington. Whew, y'all two were so close. It's number two. The correct answer was Oregon. Oh, that makes Oregon, sense too. I should have thought Washington, that. South Carolina, New York. California. I'm so fucking tired of this game. It's, it's over. So good. That it's wasn't over. Even fun at all. I I was no. I'm sorry. I like no. the show we were doing the horse or a boy. Yeah, that, that shit was just, yeah, And then you're like, all right, to bring you down from that well, level. I'm sorry. How could I have made that game funner? I don't know. Well, you did spice it up with. No, nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> I wish. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to find a way to incorporate Google Trends into our show to. Get that was not it. Episode Google. You just lost followers. I, I don't know. Like, give us less choices. That was so no, much. No, you yeah, it? no. It was just also just like, I just wasn't interested. You know, I was just oh like, really? It was a part of the hemisphere. Who's it googling just, shit? And it wasn't even like really funny shit. Like, well, that, that, who's that googling mean? clown porn? <laughs> I did some porn. <laughs> yeah, you did semen demon. Yeah, like what? So, so, so you're saying when I do it next time, if I do it again? No, not put no, more if, porn in it. Just put more funny shit. Oh, uh, put it. more funny stuff in it next also time more I do porn it. In it. But that's just me. No. Okay. <laughs> so next time I do this, I'm gonna do put it's a lot more fun stuff. Funny in. Shit like I said, this is my first time doing this thing. You're like, who's googling things? Uh, backhoes. Who's googling backhoes? <laughs> yeah. Who's googling tacos? <laughs> yeah, yeah, or like you know, Santa porn. <laughs> Santa porn. Or some of it was funny, but some of it was like, who's googling gardens? <laughs> like, oh that was for God. Ed Ray. I know. He, yeah, you're like you want. You Dude, thought he, he'd know his that episode one. just got up to number five. <laughs> Our top five most listened to episodes yeah. about permaculture gardening. I don't know. I just didn't find. It. It, I understand it, that last bit. The last game me. was. I'm out. Killed you. I'm, I'm dropping out of opinions and beer forever. No way. It's your porn. It's the only Reindeer, oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. That's not legal, bro. <laughs> you know, there's. A... I should have done uh, more of the first, the first one with the the porn names and race or probably. the porn. It's hard. With, to, it's hard to look for all this stuff. Than horses. <laughs> okay, you, and you couldn't Google me and like here's seventy five porn names. No, Keenan won. <laughs> Keenan won that game. Cause then, I'll, then I'll, um, no, like no, I'm the one who gave him these porn uh, titles, so I know which one are the porn <laughs> titles. Let no. us know your thoughts. If you're watching on YouTube or if you join us on our Facebook group, let us know your thoughts on today's games. How can we improve it? What should we do next time if we should add a new <laughs> game? Um, if you hated it, let us know. If you loved it, let us know. If you hated the state game. No matter what. We understand. If it went enough porn, let us know. Yeah, <laughs> let us know your opinions. Because all we have here are opinions. And, and lots of beer. And lots of creme brulee. Yingling's Hershey Porter. And lots of rock bands. 12 stouts of and Christmas. lots of race horses. With like two things of porn. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no porn here. But we had rock bands and race horses. And beer. Good stuff. Alright, that's episode one. Alright, immediately start the other. No, I'm just, uh, I... We are a million in